Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So if you're a follower and subscriber of my channel, then you will see that I still have kids making loud noises. Hopefully that's not a prelude to what I'm about to experience, and that is Poland's song today. But nonetheless, I'm back in Milan with the loud child, back in my apartment, uh, safe and sound after a great time in India. Uh, was back to work today, which was, hmm. Um, but I guess, you know, I've got to pay my bills like everyone else. And, but nonetheless, was going to have a chilled evening. I know I need to catch up with Moldova, Latvia, well overdue, Denmark. And then I was subconsciously aware Poland said that they were going to release their song today a couple of days ago. So there's been lots of question marks in regards to what's happening with Poland. Obviously, there's been the recent shakeups in regards to TVP, the Polish national broadcaster recently in regards to obviously the recent political shake up with obviously a new government. So I was quite excited to see, um, yeah, whether that change up would manifest in regards to Poland's artist and song choice this year. But I've managed to kind of keep away from all of the songs that were suggested. I know a lot of YouTubers did obviously check out a lot of the songs, makes total sense, you know, there's a lot of buzz and excitement every year in regards to Poland's entry. And there is a really strong recording music scene in Poland. So as a result, I think there was quite a lot of excitement in the Eurovision community in regards to what Poland was sending. Now, I know that there was one particular song that I think pretty much every YouTuber that I could see reacted to, and that was Justina's Witcher, right? I never checked it out. I kind of... I did say, and I did ask a few people, a few people were asking, you know, why I hadn't checked out any of Poland's songs. And I just said, if it's, if there was like an official list, like the TVP had sent out in regards to these are the songs we're definitely kind of looking at, I definitely would have done it. My understanding is that probably was out there, but when I asked for it, I didn't really get much back from people. So I thought, do you know what? It seems silly to listen and react to songs that I don't officially know have been submitted to TVP. So I actually have the luxury of watching and listening to Poland's Eurovision entry without any knowledge of any other song that was in contention. So I'm sure at some point I will check out Justina's Witcher. Um, I may even check it out after this song actually, depending on how it goes. So we now have a song. We now have an artist, which I didn't really see many people talking about in the run up to this. So we have Luna. We have Luna uh, with the song Tower, The Tower. Um, song was made in the UK, sweet. <laughs> Internally selected, we know that from TVP. Uh, yoga teacher from Warsaw, awesome. Huh. So, like I said, I saw a couple of artists that people were talking about, but when I saw this image prop up today on um, Twitter, I was like, don't know this artist, don't know this song. I think a lot of people were manifesting and hoping it was going to be Justina. And even I thought with the hype, it would be Justina. Hence why I didn't actually re listen and react to it. Cause I thought if it gets selected, then I could listen and react to it genuinely um, for the first time on its selection, but that hasn't happened. So I'm going into this without any knowledge of any of the songs. I've said that already. Now, hopefully this video won't be as dramatic as last year's video. <laughs> it's been a year, obviously, since, um, yeah, Blanca <laughs> went to Eurovision for Poland. If you're a subscriber and follower of my channel, then you'll know, obviously, that journey that I had last year and the fun that I had with that. So um, I'm hoping for a less dramatic experience with Poland this year, but I'm ultimately hoping for equally a memorable and magnetic relationship with this song as I had with Blanca and Poland last year. So I think that's enough talk and chat, as you can see. <laughs> I'm quite jet lagged, so I'm just like blah, 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 blah. Right, let's just get on with it. Let's listen and react to Poland's entry this year. They're due, they're due a win. They're due a top three. They're due a, they're due a top five. They're due a top 10, right. Please be good. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, so I was a bit nervous with the verse. I was like, oh, this isn't really gripping me yet. Um, but that chorus kicked in, and particularly the latter part of that chorus, we've got a decent melody on there, a decent hook. So, yeah, thank God for that. I was a bit worried. I was like, oh no, this could be pretty traumatic if I don't like this. Yeah, I'm going to repeat what I said in regards to the verses are there. Uh, the verses, yep, <laughs> building blocks. But for me, building blocks leading up to what is a melodic chorus. Okay, I'm going to go back halfway through. I think fundamentally I'm on the side of... I'm enjoying it. I do really like this chorus. I need to go back. <laughs> I just want to be very, very sure before I talk about this song. <laughs> Can I just say, I'm really glad <laughs> that I'm going on a third time for this song. After the first time, I was like... Okay, right, let's deal with Shane facts. <laughs> Am I as enamoured with this song as I was with Blanca Solo last year? No, that was instantaneous on first lesson. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? When I listened to the Polish national final the year before, like if you say, take for example, Daria Paranoia, like again, similar to Blanca Solo, like a really good pop tune that has like one of those infectious, almost AI written melodies that just stay in your brain and you're just like, ah, you want more and more and more. Ockman, you heard the voice, you heard that song, you're like, safe qualifier that's going through that could do something in the final and i genuinely thought it could have done and, and and i still think that that result was unwarranted when i listen to this song do i get a that instantaneous love this song love this song oh my gosh want to download this now want to go for a run and listen to this now this is going to be my top five no do i get the same feeling as i got with ockman i.e oh, sweet poems going straight to the final this is easy this is a song that could shake things up at eurovision no but did I enjoy it? Yes. And I'm not saying that because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not saying that because I'm scared. I'm saying that because that's genuine. I think whilst I said I was I, I was approaching this with an open mind, I again, like I do check with Twitter, so I do get some feedback and it was almost like something serious had happened today in regards to um, a few people shock that certain songs weren't, songs weren't selected and certain people comparing this to other songs that may have been in the running or songs and artists that have been rumoured. And so I, from that, I was like, right, stop going on Twitter because you're going to be really jaded before you even give this girl and her song a chance. 
I listened to it on first listen and it's not the fact that I didn't like it. I was like, oh, this isn't popping. Like, and isn't this in a very, very strong semi-final? And isn't it been drawn in a particular half of a semi-final that's really stacked uh, with competitive, historically competitive countries and songs? So I was like, ah, little concerned, obviously genealogy as we know genetically have a somewhat investment in regards to what Poland sends being part Polish second listen I was like okay no definitely there's something here even in the verse because I was a bit skeptical of the verses but the chorus I was pretty much down and on the third listen I was like nah this is this is good people need to calm down a little bit (laughs) But like I said, what is definitely factual in regards to my tastes and my assessment in comparison to Poland songs the last two years, is it as an instantaneous in regards to my love for this song compared to Blanca? No. And even Daria Paranoia, obsessed with that song. And like I said, am I getting that kind of assurance that Poland is sending a song that's getting out the semi-final come what may? No, not really either. But am I happy with Poland selection? And come on, like, you know, whilst bias like obviously i am invested in poland's entry in poland at eurovision but i'm not going to say and stand here and lie to you and say it's my one of my favorite countries at eurovision historically they've sent some stinkers (laughs) so comparatively if you look at what poland sent the last 10 years i think comparatively this is strong i think it's just we've had this kind of momentum now and so yeah, I think there was a lot of expectation, probably way too much of a high expectation. So anything other than maybe Justine and the Witch was always going to be a disappointment. So I almost feel quite sorry for Luna and this song. But I think it's a it's a radio friendly song. <laughs> I genuinely think if Poland released this when they probably should have done without all the previous hype around other entries, I think people would listen to this and fundamentally feel that Poland is sending a strong-ish entry. Yeah, I'm fine with this song. I'm fine with this song and I'm not saying that because I'm scared. So yeah, those are my views. A lot, if, see if you can make sense of anything that I've said. It, it, this is all jet lag. I have not really slept last night. So, um, yeah, actually, I must be quite nervous because I think I'm sweating. <laughs> I think probably from the first listen, I was like, oh, no. Um, there, there we go. So what are your thoughts? Please let me know. Please do comment below. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.